here at a very simple movement, but it should be integral to any type of exercise or workout programming that you are doing. It's just going to be a single leg hip flexion. So what this is, is going to be a tall seated position. If you want to recline and put a hand back there, totally can. If you want to have your hands out in front of you, almost like a boat pose, kind of get an ab workout out of it, you can do that as well. But for demonstration purposes, I am being lazy. So I'm sitting back, hands behind me, and just focusing on the one leg going over. If you're starting off and you're having a difficult time, you're feeling more so a strain and a burn and it's just going right off the bat, right around that hip joint, just doing isometric. You can imagine an invisible poker chip that you're working your way over, progressing maybe to the pink dumbbells, bigger dumbbells, kettlebells, and over time working into that. Ideally, we want to go in for sets of 20. So start slow, start with what you can do without overdoing it, and you want to be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> right off the jump, we don't want to be adding any load, just moving fluently, working that muscle and getting familiar, bringing attention to that muscle group. Because like what I was saying, it's it's so often neglected or overlooked anytime there's programming. I would say it's not the most rewarding workout in the present, but it definitely pays you down the line as it does you know, bring a little bit more balance to the hip musculature. Say we have overactive glutes, as in our society loves that muscle group, working out that muscle, so in that, the antagonist muscles, that doesn't get nearly as much love. So if this is the hip girdle right here, if the glutes are in the back and it is pulling, now in front, we're gonna be shortened, we're gonna be weak, there's gonna be an imbalance, and then your back is the one that suffers from that later down the line, or possibly a knee injury, or just pulling something because of the imbalance, you know, it's bound to happen. So let's let's nip that in the bud and do these, and you can do it at the end of a leg workout, primarily in the beginning, and you warm up everything and, you know, activate that musculature. Later down the line, we can do some resistance, but for right now, cool things down, or a warm up, do some single leg hip flexion. Thank you.